Good evening, fans, teammates and cricketers from around the world are united tonight, hoping and praying for Philip Hughes. The batsman remains critically ill in an induced coma more than 24 hours after a sickening blow to the head. No cricket, just a waiting game. And for those closest to Philip Hughes, it was taking its toll. Brad Haddon in tears, or certainly close to it. While Michael Clark, who left the hospital at midnight, was back this morning resuming a bedside vigil for his best mate. Hughes was in a critical condition the moment he was struck by the bouncer yesterday. And 24 hours on, we all held our breath and feared the worst as Cricket Australia revealed the team doctor had an announcement mid-afternoon. Philip's condition is unchanged and he remains critical. If there are any further developments, we'll let you know immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Short and sharp, the gritty opener fighting on. And we have now learned just how dire the situation was in those first few minutes after he was hit. Hughes had to be brought back to life with the New South Wales team doctor, John Orchard, the man on the spot. He was obviously uh, tremendous yesterday, um, did, did a wonderful job and, and uh, you know he's, he's got us this far and, and uh, we're very grateful for him being around. The sport reeling, this was now not the time for cricket. Previously only war had ever stopped Sheffield Shield matches. Today three games were abandoned because of this tragedy. The New South Wales players who witnessed the distressing scenes out in the middle yesterday came together again today. They were given counselling while Sean Abbott, who bowled the ball, is receiving extra support. It's just a freak thing that happened. It's, it's not, not, not Sean's fault. It's really nothing to do with him. It, you, it could happen crossing the street. So I think everyone's just reinforcing to Sean that, that we care about him, we love him, and, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. This terrible accident has raised some concerns about protection for players. Now, Philip Hughes was wearing this older style helmet yesterday, and this is the newer version. It's heavier, it's harder, and offers slightly more protection around the neck here. Now, if that had helped him yesterday, it's impossible to say. The English manufacturers say they will look at making more changes if possible, but there are limitations. If you build in too much protection, guys are not comfortable, they can't get the movement, therefore they can't bat properly. But you can't change the game, and the short delivery is all part of it. We all enjoy watching fast bowling. Everyone loved watching Mitchell Johnson representing Australia and South Africa and also in the Ashes. It was just so unlucky um, and you can't help feeling for Philip and his family. Like the past 24 hours, the next 24 hours will be crucial. And while we wait, this message from one cricket lover to another. He's uh, a tenacious uh, player and he's fought back from playing adversity and we can only pray that he fights back from uh, from this. Damien Ryan, Nine News. And our reporter Tom Wren is at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney and joins us now live. Tom, when can we expect another update on Philip Hughes' condition? Well, Kate, as we just saw, Cricket Australia released a statement early this afternoon confirming that Philip Hughes' condition is critical, but the national team's doctor, Dr Peter Bruckner, understandably didn't want to ask, answer any questions about his condition, so it really is difficult to know when exactly the next public statement will be. Now, of course, his close family, friends and his teammates are being kept informed as he literally fights for his life, and among those are his devastated Redbacks teammates who made the agonising journey back to Adelaide this morning without their teammate and without their friend. Heartbroken Redbacks players arrive at Adelaide Airport deeply worried about their good friend and teammate, Philip Hughes. They are completely gutted and, and, and completely shattered. Phil is... Phil, <clears throat> Phil, Phil is a very loved and respected and admired player. He's just a terrific guy. South Australia's cricket boss fighting back tears as he welcomed the squad home after an emotional flight from Sydney. Their Sheffield Shield match against New South Wales abandoned, their opening batsman fighting for his life. This is just a tragic event and, and you know, everyone is just devastated and um, he's much loved and we, we are just yeah, praying that he's OK. Some of them visited Hughes at St Vincent's Hospital last night, along with high performance manager Tim Nielsen who also flew back this morning. Players and staff too devastated to comment publicly, 
instead posting messages of support on social media. The entire squad will now take a few days off as they come to grips with this horrible accident. There's little anyone can do but wait and hope their good mate pulls through. Obviously there's counselling that we've made available to them uh, and uh, we have a chaplain so you know, all the support measures that we can put in place we've, we've done that. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.